we will ask the sun, wind, water and even tobacco products to effectively work out the ammunition depots. On the other hand, we will insist that Russia voluntarily dismantle all the illegal bases and bridges that they have built in Crimea over eight years. Mikhail Podolyak, advisor to the head of the office of the president of Ukraine, in an interview on Channel 24. Oleksiy Danilov, the Secretary of the National Security and Defense Council of Ukraine, said that the Russian army is transferring military equipment to Ukraine through the illegally built bridge in Kerch. That's why the elimination of the bridge is a task for the military leadership of Ukraine. Trust me, everything is being closely monitored. All this will be done as soon as there is a need, an opportunity, an ability and the tasks. Oleksiy Danilov, Secretary of the National Security and Defense Council of Ukraine, on the air of the National Teleson. Operation demilitarization in a delicate style of the armed forces of Ukraine will continue until the complete deoccupation of Ukrainian territories. Our warriors are the best sponsors of a good mood. Crimea is Ukraine. Andrei Yermak, head of the Office of the President of Ukraine, on Telegram. It's time for Ukraine to demolish the Kedge Bridge. Anders Oslund, a Swedish economist and senior fellow at the Atlantic Council, has written about this on Twitter. He believes that after the demolition of the bridge, the Russian invaders will quickly flee the Ukrainian peninsula. In addition, according to American political scientist Ramis Yunus, the strike on the bridge will be an important political signal. Give Ukraine the opportunity to bomb the Crimea bridge. This can be done within one day. The West has all the military technical capabilities to do this. Once the Crimea bridge is bombed, you will see how the Kremlin's rhetoric will quickly change. Ramis Yunus, American political scientist, in an interview with Radio Novoe Vreme. Все должны знать, что кто сегодня реально на стороне Украины. Это Соединенные Штаты, это Великобритания, это Турция. Если вы хотите принять Швецию Финляндию, поставьте одновременно вопрос Грузии или Украины. Четвером сразу принимайте. Мне нужно, вот, например, Азербайджану, кто помог в Старой Карабахской войне? Пакистан, Израиль и Турция. Мне самое главное, что они помогли Азербайджану в его кровавой борьбе. А те демократические страны, которые э, входили в Минскую группу ОБСЕ, типа Франции, типа США, где я живу, и Россия, они все поддержали агрессор. Я никогда не выступлю ни против Пакистана, ни против Израиля, ни против Украины, ни против Грузии, которые поддержали политически тот же Азербайджан. Поэтому, если вы хотите, украинцы, быть объективным, вы должны четко знать, кто сегодня на самом деле вам помогает в этой 